Next. Oh. Storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. Yes. Quite sick, Chase. I know. But he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Easy. 
What's she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is! Uh, mother! Uh, 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 she's got you! She's uh, gotta get away from her! I'm trying! Up there! What's she? Look out! The trees! They're coming down! That was too close. She's coming around again! Fight you! Losing my grip here! Oh, I have you! Hold tight! Protection stave is near! Oh no! River Stave. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. Vana. Up. I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? It's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. 
Where's your food? You still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Besu. Sofna. 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 No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Drinking is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. Time is running out. The prophecy say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with God. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war, Asgard. Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Before I bury him,
recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. Kratos? Are you joining me? Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbles. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt the Predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, don't! Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said, he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. A problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Where 
as Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He could not be far. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Baldur's chasm is too unstable, brother. The lad wouldn't try it. You suppose he took a shortcut through the realm between realms? No. The stones have not moved. You don't suppose he was training in the middle of the night? I suggested as much. Did you? What on earth for? He was breathing. Oh, Kratos. I know you're trying. softer down by the frozen river. Surely that's where he'd dig. We should look, yeah? Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? Crawl through here. You seem troubled in your sleep, even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past, almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No, it feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No, but it is something more than memory. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. And we're not alone. Check on the protection, Steve. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? Brother, back there. A dead animal. A struggle? We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. <laughs> Follow the trail. We'll find him. Ah, we need a way around. We won't find him this way. <laughs> Let's find that trail of blood.
Aha! Trail's on the other side of that gap. If you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions. I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. That's a lot of blood, brother. We must find him. And what do you believe about prophecy, Mumir? I'm skeptical by nature. Though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I've no bloody idea. what you're thinking, brother. But Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. <laughs> Torches. And the trail leads into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Or you could do that. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. Oh, <laughs> 
trail goes through here. Leads deeper in. There will be more. Look out, brother! Atreus, are you here? Huh. Well, that's for the best. Let's find a way out. The trail leads back out. We'll need our own way up to find it again. Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter, kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus, where are you? <laughs> We found the bear! Oh, he found us! Come 
Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back? That had to be a dream. Your emotions. They transformed you. Uh, I, I I didn't know I could do that. taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! We going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah, are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. Need 
Freedom! Freedom! Left flank! So, lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimblewinter, perhaps. Seen my share. with all the blood. Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. This one. Isn't it cold enough? We are almost home. those guys it's been like this all night he must have been inside the stave when I fixed it
Hey, Svana, you're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Specky, you okay? Just a little thunder. That's a good girl. Good girl. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. No, I admit it was a bit like old times there. For a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. Sure, we'll find lots to talk about. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Reasonable person. You 
if the moment calls for calm. I'd say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you? Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word out of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. Now show! 
only this god killer I've heard so much about. You insult me holding back like that. I did not seek that fight with your brother. I don't care. How were you ever a god of war? You know my past. The ghost of Sparta thing. Yeah. No, I'm taking her off. Show me! Now we got us a fight! <laughs> Yeah! Oh! 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 Oh
This is the god that murdered a pantheon to they hurt his feelings. This is the man who faced down to see Grimm's boundary queen. Sons, and your boy, all father, has plans for him. <laughs> Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Oh, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on then. Ain't a long walk. We must check on Atreus. Well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack a punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold her own. Kind of the point after. This will get you home. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stays busted. Once you chase Odin, I got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking. I will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. for the roof and he invited me to Asgard did he I couldn't hear once he went outside I, I told him no obviously good why were you searching for Tia if I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust. You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, 
We haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. Change your bastard! temple in the wildwood. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Joe didn't say anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. Do you think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. Our raiders <laughs> warring with one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. More 
over here. And fresh. Did they all get in while the state was down? That or Odin cocked up the protection hey, spell. Don't burn this bramble off. It'll be quicker. Almost to the bridge. Oh, yes, the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. <laughs> Whoa, that one's still alive. No, you're closer. <sighs> Hell Raiders now? <laughs> Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. You see something down there? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. Wasn't me. Whatever it is, it works fast. Whoa, yeah. Now, just need to find a way around. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean to the old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. Oh! <laughs> 
Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, here was an ally to the giant. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? I don't think so. Imagine what the lies found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. I see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. That's a fun cue. Kill Winterman. Yep, you got it. Wonder who they mean. Ha <laughs> 
has gotten rather good at that. <clears throat> Yet another grizzly scene. Lisa! <laughs> 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 I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one morning. Raiders, door nodes, and barging in, and now stalkers playing in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. mom gave you. Thor damaged it. But now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on. We can stand this way. Atreus. Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? Where the ten on the left would be their origin, and 
panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realize. How do you always know how to find those? Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. Things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Fimble winter wears down all things, even stone. Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, 
That means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mumir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time. Or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Beating Earth. Could the prison be in Muswell Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the Bleeding Earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Spartal fine. That's a good bet. Their minds did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears and Svartal find somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So? What now? Lad, even if we can but they're looking for Tia, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. kind of crack there. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. We must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. <laughs> What's under there? You <laughs> ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. Offer. To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't. What about the things he did not tell us?
curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open room travel to Spartalfarm, there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us Enough. to... Enough. You will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. <laughs> Is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, <well>, yeah. <laughs> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. You do remember we don't have the Unity Stone to let us jump off, right? Of course. Enough. I remember. As you can see, We've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Stan. We have a plan to talk to you about, it, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? 
Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Alive? I mean, that's... What? It's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You hated my son disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast! How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Now, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. Yeah, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. I knew he'd left something behind. See? I knew you wanted a snack. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? Atreus. <laughs> All right. See you out there, Sindri. You hear that?
We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, you shocking bastard! Ah! Ha, 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 Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! Ah! Oh! That's it! That's it? Good. Now, release! Still on poison. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Frostful of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just to adjust. <gasps> there. That should do it. <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first! <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay. Good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh... Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? <laughs> <laughs> Mista! Quick! Left flank! I see we're already off to a lively start. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. What's the chain in the water for? That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. Very spy.
I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. <laughs> if you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met Like... Did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in the second. Brother, do you think freezing it would work? What if you use your ass on it? <laughs> to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Dirty enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. <laughs> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Ah! 
There's gotta be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! You don't mind supporting if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Sparklefine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh wow, nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartofarm? I lack. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Father, 
Find anything good up there? one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? <laughs> of this realm or anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around. Oh! Ah! 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 
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. I think... That's everything here. Wanna get going? Just, I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Brother, look! 
That strange bugger popped back Please into the stop. ground again. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Gotta get behind him. How? <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it dropped. <laughs> There. Go. Halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look! There's a chain we can pull up there. Nista! Cover that geyser from here. Hmm. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Nice one. That's one of Cavassio's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <clears throat> Lad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey! Dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, 
Can we talk we to you for? Any trouble, There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones would talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for our replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of the lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? <laughs> okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead... <laughs> Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can be ah! bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. <laughs> Let's just keep moving. A firebomb from the chief anti Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance.
This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. <laughs> Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, I think you made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother.
saw Doc back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. We going to Derlin's? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. <laughs> this is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. Darling? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Did you collect on something, pal? Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, got it, got it. Failed. Faye is dead. Rest of them are. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin. And free Svartalfine from the Ace here. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Fine. Ha! 
hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Play it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a map beyond that number. Ah, dear. Everyone helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride.
We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. Healing. No one said it until you did, just now. Dunley! He didn't need to say it, but it was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. True believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Looks like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. A bomb. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Bari, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. Special equipment to use this. I don't think this is working, brother. Maybe we should come back. Whoa, is that a Drekki? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Oh, no, no! I think that 
people killed the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. <sighs> Fought ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Coming from that pillar. Looks like a net. Looks like we have to get this one back on the track. thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Hmm, hopefully that's it. Wait, I meant my left. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. I think we need some special equipment to use this. Gave you a 
stone. Oh, uh, Diener. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. On your left! This is incredible. It's one Raven down. Stone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the Whetstone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think I see a passage. If we can get through this orb. So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Need to get past this cargo. <laughs> Looks like the water powers the crane that's keeping the cargo up. Stop the water flow on that trough. That's it. Let's head across. Good bet there's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah? I'll be able to get up there if you help me. Great! I'll head across for a better look. Father, 
There's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. I hope you can make that jump. <laughs> it's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Why? <laughs> Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? side. I will lift on mine. <sighs> Heavier than I thought. Mm. Thanks. Let's keep moving. You can hit it from a different angle. Like we found Darlin's mine entrance. Got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold? Horrors. Yeah. Look out! Uh. Ah. Uh. That huge crane's moving this way. Stay there. Yes, sir.
Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. Official entrance to the mine is blocked, but there's got to be another way. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. Yeah. Uh, you guys again? Where are they all coming from? Certainly smells like we're headed into a mine. I think I can hear the water too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. <sighs> things leave behind is so gross. A small consequence for disturbing the home. Let's keep moving. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff. And I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. Hey, 
There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Your instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before. About my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. Or just across this gap. Tear could be right there. Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. The water flows blocked. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? There should be a way to turn the wheel, no? Waters overflowing refroze that trough. That's helpful. Get to the door. Come on. Here? Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tia currently is. He he's gotta be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're Ahem. Brothers, with Thimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Across the way. There's another door. Maybe that's the one. Nicely done.
Huh. Glad we explored. Not to be discouraging, but it is a mine after all. Namir, that is discouraging. Uh, did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. You should look. Now, shall we? Statue. Made for the Aesir. Indeed. And then stolen by Ulf, Yolf the thief.
Water is burning the grain. Clever. We'll be up there in no time. Nice. That'll keep the water flowing over the side. Take that lift up. Tear can't be far. Okay, new exercise. Let's think about how Tear's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Even if it was just to know I still could. Here? Whoa, what happened here? This dwarf didn't make it out. Is that a relic? Huh. Might be able to get out of here this way. Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we. Don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, 
Another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Yeah. We're above where we got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. What happened? Why didn't that work? The chain is blocked. Should be clear now. Ready when you are. I think I can hear something in there. A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the World Mill. Built by Durin the Generous. I believe that's all the rebel artifacts. You can return to Brock whenever you're ready. to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You do not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? Sir. door. That one has to be it. We will see. Seems like we'll have to get Quite to across. It. Look for another way. I think I see a crank over here. Atreus. Another mental exercise. But one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, they have any desire to prove themselves. The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. We're almost there. Maybe 
Maybe there's a way to get the platform moving again. Hey, we did it! I'll meet you at the door. This could be it. We still have to go back and check out that last door, right? Familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine. Did you hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait, is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's bar. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bed course. I see what we must do. Lava. in there. This has to be it. Back to it then. This Odin. What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. This 
god of war. Those plates. I know you. God killer. Have you come from me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Rather let me try. Tia. Tia. Look, you know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! Wait. Find your son. I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get yeah, you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe, I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. For returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? Here. Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. 
I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know I'm here. And that's my <laughs> father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Yotnar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. <laughs> I remember that name. She tried to help people, too. She's in the light of Alphine now. You have my sympathies. Odin's wrath to free me. Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment. Execrable torture at the hands of the old father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Well, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah. You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok. Which means Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetland. Ah! Whoa! 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 Ah! 
Come, you must leave before more creatures attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. I have abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... ...or worse yet, lead you to it... ...then kill me, now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok! We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. Good night's rest. And maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Baldur tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyrie. And that the giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. And finding the shrines. The giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all dead. Dead? Do you think Odin? We do not know. <laughs> I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa. What are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ain Hriar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Too long. I've forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. 
The Giants are... were... very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Hey, Tyr! This is the place we use your Unity Stone to reach where you hit the Jotunheim Tower. Oh, yes. We go. A treehouse. Lord Tyr! You're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, uh, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Still. Yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tyr. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr. Sounds like promises were made. <clears throat> Let's see about getting it settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be... Do we have a broom closet? Yes, but it's where I keep my brooms. That's all I need. To be honest, it's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hardtack. Hardtack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. Aye, with a pinch of salt? Well, I'll see what I can find. Hmm. <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man, without the All-Father's eye on me. You know what? They must get in the pantry. I'll just look quietly. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking... I want things to be the way they were. Well... I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Ah, perhaps. Pretty Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting. An old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead, so it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. 
I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. This is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I meant to tell you. And we're still... Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Oh. a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the Oarsman. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smell. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. So easy, huh? Shut up! Uh. Yo, yo, what's been going on? So, father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Accidental magic's not all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Exploding the slobber. Yeah. Then I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. Venomous? Got sounds going on. Yes. Feels good, right? Great, Sindri. We're blocked. How'd the arm of Tear statue end up here? Wow. Almost like you've done this before. Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment, and well, he got it. Wow, great story. <sighs> anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? It's me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- You said you need to touch them. I like the way you think. Okay, 
Here goes nothing! Jump up! You think good? Be nice. Uh, okay, right. I'll just take this, you dirty power rock. Ah, don't touch me! Wow, Sindri, harsh words. I'm sure he'll recover. Shut up. You want my help or not? All right, all right. Get off of Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Speed off them! Shoot! I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all.
to say? Well, don't let us keep you up or anything. Good talk. Ironwood. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. Is that frozen lightning? Yep. Want a closer look? No. Door's frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? So what was your plan, anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. <clears throat> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Bessel, I wish it did. <gasps> ah. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. Ah! My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Shoot yourself. I think I can break this. I need to find another way around. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Go! 
Just keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option. Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Block. You need to destroy this sonic piece first. All right. I just need to get a different angle on the soundstone. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me... Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? <sighs>
wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? I wish I had a compass. got this, right? Yeah. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Is that 
you up there? Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Oh. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. Yep, that's the door. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean. Okay, yeah. She probably would mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this. You would stake your life on it. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father to save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin. Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us! Offered peace if we don't move against him! <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Gro's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then who's already won? Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. 
Maybe if you spoke to him. Tears alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Sardafon. Impossible! The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together, enough. Enough! <laughs> Do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. <laughs> Good thing I like climbing. Ugh. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's going to help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! <laughs> Later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way! He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Do they ever quit? Give me a second! Oh. 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 Okay, back to Alphine Tower. You were saying? 
Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. <gasps> really? Now? Joppa! <laughs> Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <sighs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Go, go, go. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants were not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. I'm sure that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? 
You hate our farm. Why would we move there? Move there? No, oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. How fun. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus. I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? He explained the secret... Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Park off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can.
Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the dark elves were covering it with their sticky high head. When we freed it, light elves came back. It's better now. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alfheim. <laughs> Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The Song of the Sands, he called it. Gone now. Another victim. <laughs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. <laughs> Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. Grow a shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bifrost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting you on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah, very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Oh! I didn't know I could do that.
There's a gap in the fence over there. Apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We don't have a choice. We're the ones who freed the life. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Behind you, father! They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Whoa! Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, hairs. While knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. 
Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. The light. Ah. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. That's the creation of the Nine Realms. Fallen souls began to gather down in those... The elves discovered its potential. They built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architecture. This way, shrine awaits. He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Ah, a curious mind. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves <laughs> use Alpine's light to enhance the temple and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, who knows? We just like to be thorough. I see. By all means, then. Bridge! Left leg! Go! 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 Oh, these things smell awful. <laughs> Anything interesting this way? Huh. Glad we. Oh. 
Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain? Not a great idea. Oh, there, friends, salutations. We mean you no harm. Here. want the souls and the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alpine. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again.
Why not simply hold it in place? I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Do it then. Yeah, that looks right. The angle looks right. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. On the other side. Oh. <laughs> 
another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen a light elf with so much control over the temple. Guess that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Battle Yoffa's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Guess he's in the light now, too. See us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the castle. <laughs> Still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. <sighs> I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. They insist on these frustrating trials. You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try. 
Here we go. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? I pray are not abandoned the realm a lasting peace may have formed. But now. Can we really place all the blame on Fair? This war stopped him long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path. <laughs> <laughs> Right? 
around here. The last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I wondered what you came of. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we had the wrong side. I see. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. Soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Storm. Uh, I'm not facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we no. allow me to speed this up. The angle should work. No. Well done. At your service. Yeah. is indeed thorough. Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, isn't it? Alfheim. Stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he well, said... You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so the conversation was difficult, to say the least.
father, she's... She's gone. We're almost there. Huh, they've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf came. I thought all the dark elves were... Dear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this world? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There was a Nornier chest down here last time. <laughs> oh, guess they moved it. <gasps> there it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. I think I see something. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. 
Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this there? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? The other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied? Of course she did! <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy! <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win! Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw no, you! No, Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. Stop Ragnarok. But we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Light bomb! Watch out! Oh! <laughs> 
Down here. Father, this way. Quickly now, before more arrive. We need to keep moving. He's really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. Are you 
okay? No. It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. <laughs> Get 
out of here. Through here!
Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophets, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now. I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Hello, travelers. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. I make for you. Tears had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I have a question. Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neetho. Neetho? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neetho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? 
Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Nithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Until we meet again. Away with you already! Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh! Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little bit. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. Dress. Mm -hmm. Eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? safe to be smart but to use the judgment of a man and not of a child but what if loki going to ironwood is the only way that oh atreus my son and nothing more do you hear me i'm not hungry anymore Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Ivy. Already gone.
होगी I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonan! What do you want? Let's go! Druba! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run off! Whatever. Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. <laughs> This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Going. <coughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Ooh! Where am I? Can you understand me? Hi there. So, where are we going? <laughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. Huh. 
Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir smelling. Wish it were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <laughs> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angleboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me... Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, will you? R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. I'll, uh, take my own path. <laughs> so, where am I exactly? I'm in this weird fog. Oh, I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. <laughs> huh? 
So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants were all supposed to be giant. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. I'll be up above you, but keep going the way you're going. Chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sinji would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you think our giants are strange? They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Yo, fuck! <laughs> Stuff. It's just something my father... You know what? Never mind. Be off. Looking good! Thanks! Wait, what? It looks like you're going the right way. Oh! Yeah! Totally! Stop up! I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... Yeah. 
Thanks. Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not... Okay? I'm sorry. Help me with this? Oh, sure. Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! Lucky. Nah, you're just Loki. Jump <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. 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 Almost to my mom's shrines, where she chronicled Groa's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts.
Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you'll see plenty more button clips today. I hope so. Here. Oh. Isn't that Daniel magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I've seen this before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait. No. No. It's not right. That can't be what happened. This isn't real. Ironwood's not real. The Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. You're okay. You're okay. It's all all right. It'll be okay. Look at me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hey, hey calm down. Calm down. It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Oh, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future! It says I serve Odin and my father dies! There's just no way! Look, this is the only way things turn out! The sooner you accept that, the better! Oh, shit. I was mean to. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Loki, I need your help with this. What about all this? We'll be back later. I promise. You'll have time to look around. What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? 
We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Loki, meet Yala. Hi, Yala. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, wow. She, she's a big girl, huh? Come on up. Good girl. Ganga. So, um... I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Jotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Champ. <laughs> so, where did you say we were going? We need to collect some fruit. If we follow the river, we should find some. Those flowers over there. Silence. I... Okay. <laughs> no, that's what they're called. They only grow in Yotunheim. My mother and I used to take naps in them when my grandma and her fought. It was one of the only places she found peace. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's one. Let's grab it. Who's it for? Wolves gotta eat, don't they? Never seen fruit like this before. They're called green bulbs. My mother made me eat one every day. For strength, they taste terrible. Seems like they work, though. Excuse me? It sounds like she likes you. Yeah. Sure. Could you grab that one? Got it. Those wolves. You take care of them? I do. They're good friends. Can't wait to meet more of them. How many more of these fruits do you need? You in a hurry to leave? No, I just... Gotta save my father's life now, apparently. Loki, we have time. I see some fruit up there. Then we should be up there too. Wait, were you talking to me or the yak? <laughs> Let me help. Thanks. You're welcome. After you? Listen, I know we're out here having fun and all, but maybe we should talk about what we saw in the mirror. What I saw would never happen. I wouldn't join Odin if it cost me my father. If you learned anything from my mother, it was that these things have a way of coming true, one way or another. I learned from my father, too. Close your heart to it. But... I can't. Not for this. <gasps> can't 
reach it. You know, I may have thought about going to Asgard, but I'd never do it. Yeah? My father wasn't helping me figure out my destiny. When Odin and I were alone, he offered to teach me. If you were alone with Odin, he could have easily killed you. I mean, not that easily. Let's head up to that ledge. More fruit. We don't need it, but we can grab it anyway. How do you know when it's ripe? My parents taught me. It's a delicate guessing game. So you can't be sure of everything that's gonna happen then? I'm sure of the big stuff. Oh, Nella can't get under that wall. Getting these ingredients, feeding your animals. You do this every day? If I don't, they'll die. Just seems like a lot for someone your age. Our age. Huh. Right. One of the last conversations I had with my father, he said he was sorry he couldn't protect me. That I'd have to grow up so fast. At least you got an apology. Dads have a way with words, huh? You know... Maybe Odin needs you for something. Or, maybe it's not what it looks like. Maybe I'm tricking Odin. Oh, is trickery something you're good at? I lied to my dad a couple times. Oh, a master of deception. Yeah. Green bolts go here in this bucket. Hey, if I need to, like, fix my bow or something, can I... Of course. I've got supplies in my tool chest over there. By the way, I left something in the tool chest for you. I'll meet you over by Yala when you want to leave. Is it okay to hang out around here? As long as you want. Nice! Hey, what's this one? I painted that one with grandmother. Wasn't as good back then. And Gubauda, earlier you said the Udengard can be disorienting. But what is it? Hmm. You know Amir? The first of our people. He died a long time ago, right? Odin killed him. Yes. Odin destroyed everything that remained of him, save for one thing, his dreams. Odin couldn't touch those if he tried, and they are ours. The lines on this one feel so alive. Oh, wow. It's quite the compliment. I really like what you did with the colors in this one. Oh. That dark blue pigment in the sky was really hard to nail down. Well, you clearly did. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that one's my favorite. I'm really proud of that one hand. Like, seriously. Look at it. Um, no, yeah. It's amazing. Hands are so hard to draw. They really are. This one's covered up. Yeah, it's not ready for anyone's eyes. Except maybe Yala. You can't be that bad. <laughs> maybe I'll show it to you one day. But 
Not today. Only three colors? Where are the rest? That's all I need. I mix them to make the rest. Is that another one of your paintings? It's pretty good. Nah, not my best. I could do better. Well, I like it. What's next? Well, now's when I usually harvest the beast roots I mix with them. I mean, unless you still want to leave. No, I can stay. I want to stay. Hmm? You know, I paint too. Well, I draw. What do you draw? All kinds of things. Monsters, artifacts, anything Father and I encounter on our journeys. Oh, is your father an artist too? <laughs> no. There are some roots up this way. Be easy, girl. You've got this. Do you have any animals that could maybe, uh, go faster? No offense, Yala. Of course I do. They just can't carry both of us. This is much easier. Hmm. Got it. <sighs> I've got this one. There's another up the path. Just take only what you need. See? You won't need that. The roots snap pretty easily. There. Just take a little off. A good twist ought to do it. Like that? Exactly. We're coming! We're coming! There's more roots this way. She really doesn't like me, huh? She does. It's just, apart from me, the only other person she's got time with is- Drug! On the ring! Loki! Show me the wolf! when I change. Like, I'm not in control. Do you need to be? Yaffa! Well, at least there's some roots down here. Grab them while we look for a way out. No night, remember? Oh, yeah. Guess it isn't a total loss. Okay. 
Okay, maybe I don't pull up roots for a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't you. Hey, looks like they opened up a path over there. Let's catch up with Yala before more of them show up. Okay. But what about you, Loki? What do you feel when you change? Just... anger. The part of you unleash the wolf with you. <clears throat> Maybe you just need to find the part that will guide it? How? You can fight with all sorts of emotion in your heart, not just rage. If rage lets it out, another might help you stay you. Uh, wh where does this bridge go? Hold on. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? Maybe. Home again. Yeah. Let's drop off these roots in the bucket up on the left here. Then, I've got one last thing to show you. You okay? Yeah, just... We should head back toward the water. This way. Is it alright if we stick around longer? Might wanna... You know, repair some stuff. Yes. Are there any animals you can turn into? Not yet. But for you, that might be a god thing and not a giant thing. Oh. Thanks for rubbing it in, though. Sorry. Joking. Through the tunnel on the right, Yala. That's where we're headed. Huh. Head of end. Oh. I really like that spell. It hides this place perfectly. Maybe that's why I couldn't sense any other giants when Father and I visited. Oops, not that way, girl. Let's turn around. Check it out. So, what's that soul in your knife? The what? The there's there's a soul inside your knife. Did you not know that? No. Whose soul? You know, maybe you should keep it where it is until you figure that out. How did? I don't just go around stealing people's souls. What you doing? Clears my mind. I try to see how many bounces I can get. You want to try? Looks easy yeah. enough. Oh. <laughs> A little help? No, I, I think I got it. How about... Uh... One. <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me now. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm you're not? Laughing at the situation. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, well, I might need a little help. You'll get it. Throw it flatter. It's all about timing. When you release the rock. All right. Watch this! Bring the wolf, Loki, but under your control! Woo! 
It didn't count, by the way. My last throw. Oh, it counts. A trogger came out of the water. Excuses. We can always try again later. We'll want to head under that archway when we're done here. Where are we going now? I have something for you. A gift, I guess? Should I be scared? No. Uh, I, uh, don't have anything for you. C can I ask you something? Of course. Are you, are we, the only giants left? Sort of. It's complicated. I want to know. It'll be much easier to just show you. I promise. Well, what about my prophecy then? If it is true, what do you think I should do? Doesn't matter. There's no changing where you end up. You can try whatever you want to avoid it, but it'll happen anyway. You're telling me nobody has ever changed their fate? Ever? I mean, sure, maybe some details change, but the endpoint remains the same. It's better to walk your path than to struggle against it. What's that? A lift. We'll have to leave Yala for a bit. We're heading upward. Fara! This, um, gift doesn't seem like something you're excited about. Just means we're coming up to the end. What does that mean? You'll understand once we get there.
Now, time to hold up my end of the prophecy. Follow me. This way. We're coming up on the Valley of the Fallen. What happened to them? They were tired of living in fear of Asgard, so they hid. Left a pile of corpses to confuse Odin, should he ever find a way into Jotunheim. Where'd they hide? We'll see. <laughs> I got it. Seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgar. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's. There are more out there. What are they? Just look. Yahtzee. Crowler? Hey, careful. Aura. Giants. These belong to the giants? These are the giants. They had a choice. They could stay in Jotunheim, waiting for Odin to find a way in to slaughter them. Or they could hide. My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. It's within these.
Are you sure? Well, that's what my mother saw. We're supposed to know what to do with them when the time comes. And when's that? I don't know. Let's head back. This is a lot of responsibility. It is. And it's all yours. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm done. I guess. Now that I've given you those, my part in all this is over. Y you could always come with me. We could fight Odin together. I was supposed to fight alongside you? I wouldn't disappear from your damn mirror halfway through. I understand. Well, we shouldn't break up the set. Don't you think? Let's keep walking. Huh. The tallest peak in the realms. The only other time I was in Jotunheim, I was there with my father. You know the giant's fingers? I spread my mom's ashes there. Feels like ages ago. Hey, just because of some dumb mural, your story doesn't have to be over. I know. I mean, I have plans. It's just... It's over as far as the giants are concerned. So what's that make me? A friend? Wait, did you feel that? Feel what? Help me with this. We should get back to Yala. Something feels off. <laughs> Yala? Uh, Angerboda, could you help? <sighs> Is she okay? She was fine. Sorry about that. So, uh, these marbles, they're all that remains of the giants? Not all of them. Some are just missing. But where could they be? Nowhere in the Nine Realms, as far as anyone can tell. those rocks there's a single that's where we're headed we should something on your mind nobody believed this place was real they're gonna be so surprised Lucky, you can't tell anyone about ironwood not even your father the biggest thing keeping this place safe is that odin's not looking for it my wards can keep the wildlife at bay but if asgard ever came looking i get it i'm sorry i won't tell anyone
Cola. At noon. We have company. Whoa. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Is there a wolf you'll feed this green wolf to? <laughs> Whoever wants it, but maybe Ipa will get it first. He's fast. He'll share, though. Watch the sinkhole coming up. Lots of creatures in it. Used to get a lot of supplies for paint down there. Yeah? We should run them out. Your paint supplies are important. If that's what you want to do. Uh, sure. Why not? Lina. Perfect. Hey. Hey, I, uh... Killed a flower? Oh. I... It's a gift. Thanks, but, uh... You keep it. Anyway, we're looking for wretch nests. Those will give me the supplies I need, so keep an eye out. It's so dark down here. Let me fix that. Wretches! A nest of them! They're everywhere down here! I've got you! <laughs> If we can light more torches, we'll be able to see, clear them out, and grab what I need from them. Let's do it. You lead, I'll light. The torch. Got it! Got it! Find the rest. How you doing, Jim? 
<laughs> Let's get the rest of these nests before we leave. Hard not to get lost in here, right? Yeah, we're fine. We got this. It's so much cooler down here. You should visit Midgard. Shouldn't be many left. Smells kind of funky, like old water. I have an idea. What if you came with me? Where? Midgard, the other realms, anywhere. I don't think that's a great idea. My animals need me. That's it's sweet of you to offer. I think there's another one nearby. Favorite color? I'm supposed to pick one? Not if you have more than one. No. No, I got this. Um, blue. Wait. Green? Blue is also so good. Ugh, but how can I forget about red? Ugh. <laughs> okay, ready. I think that's all of them. Thanks. Feeling any better? A bit. Let's head back. Not ready yet! <laughs> 
You okay? Yeah. You? Ready to be out of here. Ooh, yeah! Ah, let's head home. You know, I thought learning my destiny would change something. But I'm still just me. Was it like that for you? You're always still going to be you, Loki. It's about coming to terms with it. And you've come to terms with it? I thought so. Back the way we came? Nah, head around the sinkhole. It'll be quicker. Oh, I meant to ask you. Your mother had vision. Can all giants tell the future? Some. Open dream. Hey, yeah. I dreamt of Thor a while ago. Thor? Came true, too. He showed up at my house. He did? Sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah, kind of. What are those? Fireflies? Are they dangerous? That's adorable. <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Perfect timing. For what? Oh, wow. I know things have been weird in a lot of ways, but I'm glad you came here. Me too. So now that I know how to get back here, I could come back anytime I wanted, right? When? I don't know. After things calm down. As in, after Ragnarok? Yeah. Sure. I don't think I'll be busy then. What's up here? A shortcut. <clears throat> Good girl. You can do it, Yala. I believe in you. Let's give Yala a break. I, I meant what I said before. You know? About your paintings. They're really good. Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah. Is it working? Ask me again and... Damn time. What the? Shut up. Too late to whine now. Now. Who was that? Kryla. She... <laughs> What's wrong with it? 
I can't feel anything. There's nothing to feel. Carla whispered its soul away. You know where she lives? What are you gonna do? I've buried enough wolves this winter. Follow me. Got that. do anything drastic. Why? She's my grandmother. What? She wasn't always like this. And she learned my father wouldn't do anything to avert his fate. She changed. I see. Yapa! Looks like we'll need to find a way through. Can you see anything on the other side? Looking. Let's keep going. Giants live here over time. You want to know about your mother? She lived this entire life before she had me, but I don't know anything about it. Sorry, I don't know anything about her. Your mother left the path of the giants way before I was born. This is Gryla's home. No lights. She may still be checking her traps, but she might have more animals inside. We have to be quick. There's another way in, up there. We'll have to figure out how to get to it. Maybe there's a way up on the other side. I won't be able to get across. Hang on, I'll create a way up for you. So, Gryla, what does she need animal souls for anyway? 
She can make moments in their lives. Finally feel free. The wind in their fur as they run. Her only worries being what to hunt and where to sleep. But it's not real. Oh. <clears throat> Ryla's still out. Wow, the things are so big. Where's the wolf? There's a door to the cellar over here. You might put the animals down there. <gasps> the key's already in the lock. Just gotta turn it. Okay, we should get moving if we're gonna do this. Something breathing near the back of the cellar. Me too. I'm not hearing their voice. Find a way back there. I can't feel anything, just like the other one. She took its soul. There's not much more we can do. Hold this. What are you... You didn't have a least favorite giant, did you? What? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... You can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. Are you sure? No. I actually don't know how to do this part. Okay. 
together then? Where's it going? That even work? I don't know. But you're giving up already? They're your responsibility. It's not that. It's not. I just I think they're better off with you. Loki, are you certain? Call me Atreus. Okay. Let's get back. Head up those stairs again. I'm sorry. I just... We'll have to get out the same way we came in. She can't know we were here. And we better put that cup back when we get to it. No way. Is that... Yala? Sure is. This is an old one. We have to close the door. I've got it. than it looks. for pain. I damn near envy you. Okay, the cauldron. Without it, she'll have no use for the souls. I'll distract her. You free the wolf, then we break the cauldron. You sure? No. But we can't hide forever. Go. <laughs> Never to come back here! That's right, look at me! These things I've forgotten. And you refuse to be one of them! It doesn't have to be this way. If Ragnarok is coming, wouldn't you rather face it together? Destiny ever do for anybody. Look at your mom. Destiny is so 
saved you. I should have thrown you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just get out! No. Let's go. You think you've done something here, granddaughter? You are nothing! And no one will ever remember you! Not even Loki! You'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story! He'll be too busy mourning his father! I see you again! You wish you died with your parents! You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for? She used to leave me food. What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but sometimes I'd wake up and I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. It was baked just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? You've been gone longer than you think. Anchor Boda. It's fine. This was a long time coming. We'll be back once we reach the other side of this path. Well then, that's two out of three. That's right. Race me, come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after yeah, last time. I appreciate, um, last time, I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. <sighs> so prove me wrong. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go! 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 You're fuck? Oh no, you don't! Watch the turn here! I have absolutely no idea what you're saying! This field always smells so amazing! I assume her nose is much better like this! Don't get too distracted! Are you really gonna let me beat you again? the whole way. Loki, or er, Atreus. Thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. Your prophecy was less clear on when you have to go. <sighs> My prophecy. You still don't believe it, do you? I 
can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think you care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. Mm. Laufe? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... you've still got time. Say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. What happens to you now? Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Okay. Huh. The stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. <laughs> sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. Home. 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 Like that?
Gotta get back to Sindri's and figure out how to save Father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angravota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? What were you thinking? I... I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow! Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. It's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Yeah. 
Maybe. For the moment. You are of more use to me. Alive. <clears throat> this home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. Well, I must set things right. <clears throat> We'll take him. Oh, your majesty. A pleasure to see you again. Bronifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled up the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what?
If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. Ain't going nowhere without this. I know. That's sure. why I still Where would you must bouts even be without me? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's cause you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beefwit brother of yours. Freyr... is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scroat too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. More than a moonful I'm shit pit out here. I'm nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering <laughs> as anyone. <laughs> Not a riddle to lighten the mood. What runs with no legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try harder than that, bro. Smart guy. Whoa! Whoa! We're gonna need more magic than we got, Sonic. Come on, let's find a way forward. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falcon! <sighs> Come on then. 
You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel, and it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winner for you. Not. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. <laughs> Recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? I like strapping dirty. Boy, you don't miss a strap of loot, do you? Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. <laughs> Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? <laughs> A market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. to pick a favorite poem. That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. Ah! 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 
here again, bringing back memories of that wedding of yours. Fancy folks and quality Though I remember your brother stirring up an awful... Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one's own kin. Sindri and I were on the house so long it was like not having a brother at all. Oh. Now I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Does this sound familiar so far? And oh. what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the best you want to say. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man.
What'd you find? Sounds shiny. This river. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. One of them hairy-ass bastards! Gonna break you down for parts and sell your hide and And you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours, big guy. Oh. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. <laughs> We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. Am I right? No, no. No need for threats, brother. off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> well, you're no brother of mine. We sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is it? 
here is my sister. Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Yngwie. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. looking for think I'm gonna stay and catch up oh are you now do as you wish brother if you wouldn't mind I'd have a word with Lord fair Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Ace here on Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? We're still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. I'm not too big on... Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I'm gonna! That's Greedo! No, you Now that the distractions are out of the way... I have words, if you would hear them. Speak, then. With anger you feel for your brother, I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys... He was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? 
You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. <laughs> An ancient! I've had such difficulty killing you. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh,
Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Balder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope. What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley this way. I know your son's story. 
You should know my daughters. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies in bone war. They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all! to play hide and seek with Freya and the dogs. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this?
May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made.
These plants behave similarly to the storm holes we found in the foothills of Midgard. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok has been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well done, bro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. <laughs> You can probably use those islands to get a better angle on the torch, no? Let's cross the bridge now.
Anyone alive be squeamish about war? I have seen enough war to know the cost. After the price I paid to end. Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Anskotan Askarda! Vita van Dirstauda! Anskotan Askarda! Vita van Dirstauda! I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! 
Tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? I was born. Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. World tree roots found in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nepo! The creature! It belongs to Odin? No! It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are. Bastard was shouting on it. Huh! 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 
done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There is still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice.
I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open. To your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. You learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Thank <laughs> you. 
watch out. Those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be f for here. Something. To defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. Kratos, I see something. Oh. You won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large bulbous thing. You can't oh. miss it. Giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time.
shield! How come? They're defenseless now! Meta! Use the shield strike! So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Deimos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Forgiveness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. Enemy to your left! 
All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. <laughs> I think you'd have better luck burning We don't have the equipment for this. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. At last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. 
Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. <sighs> You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Please. I thought you were dead. Yeah. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I, you and me. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Don't run off without me now, brother. I've done what I can here. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Oh, excuse me, can y'all stop and help a lady out, please? What is it? 
Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. Was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Hmm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freyer found her half dead in the jungle. She probably escaped the blows from their breeding farm north of here. We all told him she was beyond saving. But he never gave up. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart. Believes in your goodness even if you don't. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. Your alliance is unusual. I think what Kratos is trying to say is he's never seen a Light Elf and Dark Elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim? Contested territory. Past the Barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. If I may ask, do you miss Alfheim? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel it's cold. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from hey. it. Hey. I'm glad it worked. Um. Uh... Whatever you help her do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but as long as you have her back, I'll have yours. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. Hmm. I appreciate your candor. In their defense, though, you are usually not the most talkative. I will speak. From her, we are taught that life is everything. The elder city is why we fight. Freya, shall we go? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, 
You can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Sula. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Suna. Lovely! Working together is already. Opening doors for us. Oh. Is he always making puns like that? We're blocked by more vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully write some old <laughs> Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Hmm. Sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you could make the trip, your goddess. Yes. <laughs> Hello. 
good to see the chimes working as intended. So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know that <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Well, I'll leave you to it. Talks to squirrels now, huh? Well, come on, then. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sentry's so-called... You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Logic! You know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me! It's fine if he keeps secrets, it's fine if Mom did! That is not fine! Her secrets ought to be step of this path! Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother! What you have done is lie! Wonder where I learned that! That's quite enough! Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense! Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen! Look at me! At Freya! At Tia! Odin did this to us! What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you are going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Listen. Let go of me. What the fuck? It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control! <laughs> Let me stay warm. <laughs> Gotta find some shelter. Did 
think it's so bad out here? The Alpha! At least something out here doesn't want to kill me. I just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is? Erdvaluta! More rage. You trying to tell me something? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, line. Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Get off of Gotta get out of the cold. Find shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. 
Get control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house! Oh, no. Charlie! No. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie! to do this. I, I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! Buddy, I know it's cold in here. <sighs> I should close that window before snooping around. Freya hasn't been checking on you. <sighs> right, too busy hunting us down. Come on, let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wow, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From Ram and Vanahan? She must have really missed it. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? Wonder what happened to her. Is this... Baldur's? Wonder how Father was able to earn her forgiveness. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him.
Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bert, is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! Oh! You don't stay friendly. Hey, Odin! I thought you said I was welcome in Asgard. Sign of Fimble Winter. You could have led me around those. Yeah, danger. I know. Got it. I see him. Alpha. Might be the craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change Father's fate. Hey, Bird! Where'd you go? Hold on! She's coming! She's gotta find a way through! What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your. Apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a foretold by prophecy kind of way. I get past the wall. I never came up with a mere story about Hrimthur. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it. 
and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, I was Freya at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. <sighs> Hmm. Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? Ow. Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my boat canal. What did Brock say? If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. There we go. Wait, that sounds like people. Just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? Yep. The, uh, Allfather saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. Do you... you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm um, sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long are you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <sighs> Is that Hugin? Is... Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. Pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. <sighs> well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. You don't know how to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. N nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Gilder. Hope you're right. Here's Temple. Oh, no wonder we couldn't use it to come out.
Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now what? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. How the white up here? Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe. And... Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. I get it. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. Nice. This 
my word. Here we go. Made it. Ah! Woke up more wish. Yup up. Hey, you get to fly. I'm doing what I can. Huh. I don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki, who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reimter's wall. So, what did Loki do? Ah! So, what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. <sighs> ah! Come on. <sighs> okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think? Oh. Visitors must be welcome. I was sent for, actually. By Odin? The Allfather sent for you. Huh. Great. Mm. Then why are you up there? And not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> Think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar. <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy.
I will be the judge of them. This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. Oh. Done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms, not really your cup of tea. I see. Oh, uh... <sighs> no. Just ask your questions already. How'd you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move, and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultopper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you... Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Grimther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Hey! Whoa! Ah. Hey! Helmet! I brought you a practice now. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do. So I am not letting you anywhere near the Allfather. Oh, you were right, Very up. nice. With moves like that, the Yogard lost every war they ever fought. Ha! That is your big special move? Come here! Cowboy! Well, that was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep our father waiting? 
funny thing. I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure about that. Ah, good boy. That is what he deserves. Oh no, arrows. How fearsome. Whoa, whoa. How is he doing that? Oh, not even close. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin. He'll be seeing you from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense. Even that didn't work? I am really screwed now. Is this all you got? How have you survived this long? Ooh. Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Yotin? Oh, that one felt I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> like it or not, she's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki, you made it. I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? He Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, Oh, my... Jaffa. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here! <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. That well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Meast, meast, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All for you. Queen Gana. The Einherjar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie Queen. Great soldiers, these Einherjar. 
but they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon the Nafen Rothgar. Moon the Nafen Form. Moon the Nafen Kiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Study there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that raised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. Okay. But look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here, in our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. Oh, Father. Yes, sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Who's the cut? You training puck pockets? You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes.
Guess I could try this on. It has less mud on it anyway. Whoa, I can use this. Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Fair enough. Come say hi when you're back. Catch you later. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... And, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. I don't think. I've had that since... Huh. Who can remember? <laughs> you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us to give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No, or more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth. 
all the answers. We can find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe. Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical in It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Small there. Obsidian Ispitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark, and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's a clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this. And this stealthy side of beef. Let's see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Moose Bahar? The rest of the mask is here? To where our father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All Father thinks that you know what you're doing, so do it. Seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms? Let's see what Loki and that shiny toothpick can do. Oh, Ingrid! Nice move! Going, eh? You could maybe help. Don't bother getting up. Supposed to head now. Checking. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we. Too slow. Hey! <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. No, oh, what else are they gonna do? Throw you? <laughs> Stays young. 
My blood payment from your father for what happened to my son. And from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. I don't want to keep the All Father waiting. Speaking of which, Mass. Right. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to blow. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Thalmor, Ronan, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled in every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh... The last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play. Listen. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look! Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. Thank you. The mask is uh pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She's hey, saying Thor, what I'm the looking. Wait, Surtur's Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking... Well, that's your problem. <sighs> Trials are just past that cliff. Get up. 
An ogre! You worried? Not in the slightest. <laughs> Another ogre? Maybe a little work. Can I get some help here? Since we're short on time, I'll humor you. waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy. Okay, that's where the mask wants us to go. But first, let's head to the shrine. We'll find the other piece when Thor gets back. Ingrid, do you trust the ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspahan. It was like forever ago. There's the shrine. Oh, oh. Ah. Can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who is trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. Prophecy's words, not mine. 
I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fine. Are you sure you're after breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> there a sentient sword huh another marble Surters. no soul in it though so he's still out there somewhere a while back you talked about how the giants left you ever think about them all the time they're far from here far from odin and thor but i wonder what lands they've gone to what seas they've crossed what I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? It just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Ah, uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Anger. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. Any time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Looks like we need to head through that gate. Oh, yeah? I had to do something while you were off fighting. 
We'll check again anyways. Come on. Through the gate. Like I said. Thor? Ain't that impressive. Real god stuff. You are a god. Damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. No! Ah! Damn it! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. No. No. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you, too. What are you doing? Loki. The rift got brighter. Look, we did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. We both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah. I mean, better than I would have expected, I guess. Is that the sword from grandfather's study? Oh yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Hmm, nicely equipped. That needs work. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. Confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tear, you're at the center of the you always have. I doubt that very much. Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. How would a trace get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, 
I thought you'd like to have this back. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Madam Neethog? Madam Neethog, where have you been? Neethog? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madam Neethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another long-time tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the norm? <laughs> How I may find my son. Nothing more. <laughs> you don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, Fay herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it burns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. 
That Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. So loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. Quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Incoming fire! Brother, I know that sword helped you. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. <clears throat> I can try to dispel it. There's no time to wander off, brother. Freya's found something. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. Never mind that. Draw that hole. I see it. You're on fire, Kratos. Give a fire. Switching arrows! Ah! <laughs> 
If rage is all that remains, the reasons are irrelevant. The Nords live in a well. No. The well of Earth. Their home is hard to explain. It's in no fixed place, come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Amir. Have you encountered the Norns? Not personally. Bray is right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. I'd leave him up. Or he wanted to forget what he saw. This is the area. <laughs> Let's see. I feel so. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Enemy behind you! Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? I've expanded my inventory since we last spoke. Thank me. Hmm. 
The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Freya, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. <laughs> Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed Righteous Fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. Not now. We need to work our way up. This way. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical <laughs> ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. <laughs> 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 More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Fire! Left side! Right side, brother! I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs>
We found it. Ah, isn't there always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Oh, <laughs> 
Mamir of the Aesir. Ah, here we go. Counseling to kings. Mary Wanderer of the Woods. Robin Lee of the Good Fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the rooted core! Bloody hell! Look at that right! This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <sighs> that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you? Babbling. Oh, that was special. Mother. My boy. Everything. Balter 
listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! Any way I could. Just lie! You, you served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought to be that You wanted his wars! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a death until you turned off you! I know, Seeker. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for you, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To Grohl? Or to Tanya? No! You are oh, to the side of the power for this! You! Yes. Lover, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a fiery god in me, and you can't help but eat him! And call him brother! It's who you call him! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother the king, it's pulling me in. Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Again! Why don't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want to go back! He's a He's a murderer! That's all I have to do. And now, he's mine! He's killed some family! Atreus! I am here! He's a bad dog! He's a bad dog! He's a bad dog! the test. Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. 
Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son was born, born shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. Hmm. 
Let us leave this place. Happily. <laughs> Better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how. You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Huh. 